Just remember, I'll be keeping an eye on you. and I'll stick you like a hawker! I don't know any Brondold. That is what I told the guards, and that is what I'm telling you. I don't want any more trouble. You make me stab you, and it's my word against yours. Dead? Stone's mercy! And I'm next, aren't I? I promise. I don't know anything. I won't make any trouble. I'll disappear. I don't even like it here. You'll never see me again. He... He did not tell me a lot. Said he was tracking some bad people. Asked me to keep an eye out for any unusual comings and goings. He'd come by now and then with a sweet roll and a few coins for my trouble. He was... nice. The last time we spoke, it was about the men with the job postings. A pair of wolves in sheep's clothing, trying to blend in, but still off around the edges. Same with their horses, sheared mountain mares. Come from the reach, I wager. Flyers. They were hanging them at the inn around the city. Something about a lucrative opportunity in the Druidic Mountains. I really did not pay them a lot of attention. I was more interested in the men distributing them. Take Brondel's horse and run before someone less friendly comes to find me. Bron was going to take me back east after he finished here. I want to live where strangers are welcomed with a smile instead of a scowl. I hear Windhelm mislikes that. We are stuck between the despot of Markarth and the Scold King of the East. Both sniff around like wolves, waiting for a moment of weakness to strike. Not a day goes by without a threat of war. It is exhausting living this way. They'd be wise to. The only time Reachmen and Nords meet is to kill each other. I always heard they were raiders and barbarians. No interest in honest labor. Or writing, for that matter. Not the sort to post job notices. Who knows? Maybe they really do need laborers. Can't imagine Reachmen would hire Nords, so. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Located south and west of here. It's changed hands between Reachmen and the Nords more times than I can count. But they control the territory now. Seeing Reachmen wandering the streets of solitude, it makes me nervous. You'd feel the same if you knew the tales of the fall of Markarth. What the Reachmen do to folks they capture. Better to slice your own throat than let those barbarians take you alive. If they raid our hold, just run, and don't look back!
Finds Aegis needs your help. Sea giants and vampires are everywhere. The island of Kynes Aegis. We need all the willing warriors we can find to repel the attack. 
Like I said, a fleet of sea giants and vampires stormed the island, bent on slaughter. Our soldiers fought bravely, but the invaders pushed the last of our troops back to the keep. They'll land the decisive blow any minute. We need help. Gather some stout allies and take this boat north to the island. Once you arrive, speak to Captain Lilmyra. Provided she's still alive, she'll lay out Thane Agvar's plan for defending the island. Kind preserve you, friend. With your help, we might have some hope of driving the vampires back. Not much, but enough. It's a rocky outpost on the Sea of Ghosts. A fort, some ruins, a fishing village. The only reason we settled on it was its location. It serves as a bulwark against northern invasions, but the defenders never counted on an invasion like this. What do you want? Youngblood. I need someone who isn't afraid of the dark, or much of anything for that matter.
please. I was once like you. A fascinating application of the technique. Welcome. Are you here on Mage's Guild business? Yes, of course. We're law keepers across the face of Tamriel. Guild members seek out books, tomes, and ancient scrolls in their travels. Why don't you speak with me for a moment? Perhaps you'd like to join. Always good to speak with another not- We're book hunters of a sort. We seek out new information, capture it in our libraries, and make copies for distribution across Tamriel. The Guild doesn't care about battlefields or boundaries, just knowledge and the acquisition of new tomes. We provide training in unique spells and abilities only available to members. And from time to time, projects crop up for those with an adventuresome spirit. You may end up working with the Guildmaster himself. Banus Galarian, one of the founding members of this august body, still holds the proud title of Guildmaster, overseeing every guild hall in Tamriel. He works with other ranking members, such as Tellinger, the Artificer, to ensure our future success. Excellent. You are now a student of the Mages Guild. Every book you find will now earn you reputation in the Guild. Vestige? You're a sight for sore eyes. Feels like it's been ages since, well, you know, 
I'd invite you for a drink, but I'm about to present myself to royalty just as soon as my contact arrives. He's what? Damn it. Queen Gerhild will be here at any moment. Look, Her Highness is expecting to talk to me and my contact. I need you to pretend to be that contact or this will go very badly. We can exchange intimate details of our lives later. Right now, just know that the safety of all of Skyrim, maybe even all of Tamriel, depends on how this meeting goes. So follow my lead and be on your best behavior with Her Highness. There is Titanborn. Your reputation is known even here in the West. Is this one of your famed companions? No, but I assure you my partner is one of the Scald King's best. Go introduce yourself, partner. I am Gerhild, Queen of Skyrim. Allow me to welcome you on behalf of our kingdom, our city, and our hold. Who might you be? The letter that preceded your arrival said an attempt was made on the Scald King's life. It indicated that High King Svargrim would be next. My husband took that as an accusation and a threat. He will not meet with you, but I will hear you out. Have you anything that would persuade my husband? It will take some substantial evidence to convince High King Svargrim to heed the words of the hated Joran, the Skald King. Reachman transgressions will not be enough for Svargrim to accept outside help. He's a prideful man, and the bad blood between him and Joran runs deep. I will speak on your behalf, but you and Lyris will need to bring me proof he cannot ignore. Thank you for alerting me to this situation. I am eager to see what else you uncover. I will do what I can, but be as discreet as possible. If you run afoul of my husband, he won't hesitate to return you to Joran, and not necessarily in one piece. You must convince my husband that a threat greater than Joran exists. Further, this threat must directly imperil the High King. Find proof of this, and I will assist you how I can. Helping to keep our hold safe will also allay his concerns. It's enough for me to believe your intentions are sincere. Learn more about these suspicious activities you mentioned, then bring it to me. If this threat is as dangerous as your claims, prove it and I will make my husband listen to reason. My deepest apologies. Between the reach to our south and the Ebonheart Pack to the east, our soldiers have come to see all outsiders as a potential threat. I will look into this. Vigilance cannot be allowed to become a bludgeon. Eastern and Western Skyrim have been at odds since the kingdom was divided. Joran's ambitions for the Ruby Throne, however, have created a new level of tension. Forming alliances and raising armies for conquest. Should we not be wary of such a man? Frankly, yes. He believes Joran hasn't marched here with an army as yet, because the Western Holds are firmly united against Pact rule. My husband is certain Joran plots to erode those allegiances. He will not easily earn the High King's trust. You handled that better than I expected. Now, what in Mara's name happened to Brondold? Damn. Lucky thing he found you. Brondold was supposed to get the lay of the land before I got here. 
Without his information, my work for Euron the Scald King could be over before it begins. What did he give you? Hand it over. Hmm. Smugglers and Reachmen up to illicit business. Nothing unusual there, but Rondald thought it could be connected to the Coven. I'm short a good investigator, and you stepped into the role easily enough. Can I count on you to help me with this? Rondald mentioned some locals we should have a talk with. A snitch named Grega who likes to gamble in back alleys, and an orc named Mog who frequents the Lonely Troll Inn. Let's find them and see what they can tell us. Succinctly? No, but I'll try. The Ice Reach Coven recently attacked the Skald King. We learned they're planning something in Western Skyrim as well, so Joran sent me to warn them. Beyond that, we have the leads Brondold found, and that's about it. Reach witches from an island to the north in the Sea of Ghosts. Nords drove their kind out of Skyrim a long time ago, and we thought they were gone forever. Seems we were wrong. While it's true that Svargrim and Yorin don't get along, the Skald King doesn't want something terrible to befall Western Skyrim. That would be bad for the East as well as the West. Besides, Yorin was hoping for an opportunity to improve relations. We don't, but it's all we've got. Even if they aren't connected to the Ice Reach Coven, taking care of a few of Svargrim's problems might earn us some goodwill. Now, let's go check out the back alleys and the Lonely Troll Inn. Castle Dower is a monument to the Western spirit, stony and cheerless. Maybe the new tower will liven up the place. <laughs> 